Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So today, we're going to continue to finish off Mexico, or at least a good chunk of Mexico, and take out the Free Fighters, this cartel down here, that they're killing each other, as well as maybe Gente de Sol, or the Ranchers? No, no, just Gente de Sol. Now, once we are done with those three nations over here, which we need to speed up time, oh, never mind, we already had the justification finished. But once we have these three nations here finished, I want to figure out whether I want to go to war with the NCR or the Phoenix Federation. Hmm. It might be best if I had kill off the Phoenix Federation first, just because you might only need to kill off, like, the Flagstaff area and stuff like that for them to all capitulate. And that might help the NCR out for a little bit. Even though they have a lot of manpower and quite a few divisions, but they're definitely not as strong as they used to be. New Vegas, they actually have a little bit of manpower left. Well, got a couple divisions, and then, of course, the Desert Rangers have a little bit of manpower, as well as quite a few divisions, wow. But anyways, the show must go on. Let us go ahead and not go to war just yet, because we're also justifying on the cartel at the same time. Oh, baby, and this justification that we currently have for the Free Fighters is here forever, cool. Um, you know what, go ahead and start justifying on these guys, because we do not get an expiration date against Generalissimo. Viala. Viala. Something like that. Anyways. Um, yeah, I probably should increase my conscription level. You know, five, four and a half thousand. Not a lot of manpower. In terms of electricity, I would like to core more states, but I almost only have 900. I need, like, 1,200 or so to actually core. Yeah, I need 1,280, which is an insane amount to core. So, that's a lot of electricity. And I'm already... Supposedly supposed to be working on some more electrical plants, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens mm, Anywhere else that's good to build another electrical plant or whatever they're called now power stations mm, Build one there. Okay, build four there or three or whatever build something there. Um, anything over here? Air defense. That's all right cargo plane Sure, why not? Let's do it anyways We want to speed up time as fast as possible so we can go to war with both of these nations and then take out Gente de Sol, and then go to war with the Phoenix Federation. Even though they actually look like they're losing a little bit, because Phoenix Federation did come over here where the Rapids were at one point, but now they're getting pushed back a little bit. Over here, it looks like there's another battle for Hoover Dam. That's nice. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Just waiting to go to war with both of these nations at the exact same time. But let me check. For the New Vegas... New Vegas War. Phoenix Federation. All right. The major players are the Hang Dogs, as well as, of course, the Phoenix Republic. Losses, 41,000 versus 50,000, so that's pretty even. It's not bad. Um, yeah, you have to get all the way up to the Hang Dogs, which would be a problem, but actually, if you take up all this territory, that would give us so much territory to play with. But then we have to kill off the NCR, which wouldn't be a terrible thing to do. Mm, in terms of ships, a 75mm deck cannon. We go from a catapult to a 75mm deck cannon. Sign me up. And also, we're building some more ships. So, that'll be good. More battle barges, please. And I do need more light cruisers, but we'll get those eventually. Stripped power armor. Sure, whatever. That works fine. Um, Actually, if I lower this... Oh, we do get more electricity. Hmm. Could I reduce my dependency on electricity at all? Not really. Not... Really. If anything, just make a lot of weapons when we're all done here. Like, that's where all the spare factories will go. So, um, anything, yeah, not really much here. Before we go to war, let's check out our navy. Eight ships here. Oh, actually, we have, f well, that's a lot of battle cruisers here. That's four in this little uh, extra task force. Um, so I don't mind splitting off maybe one more. Cool, go ahead and do that. And let's go... Um, where are you guys based? You guys are based down here, right? Or something like that. Yeah, there you are. There you are. Hello. Patrol here to here. Perfect. Give you some time, but not really give you any time. These guys should be fairly easy to kill. So I'm not really too worried about it. I should have at least a few planes around here. Regarding... Um... Air wings. Cool, we're going to launch a double war against all these... Oh, look at all that green. Beautiful, just beautiful. Ah, uh, the luchadoras never knew what hit them. 
we lost two guys so far. They've lost, well, combined 500 some. Very good. Can they pierce me? Oh, that's infantry. I don't know. I, they can't pierce my infantry if there's no armor on there. Infantry over here. It's, yeah, they can't do anything over there. Oh, yeah. I really should probably increase my conscription level. I mean, I have 945,000 people of eligible core population. But then I have almost 3 million eligible non-core population, which isn't quite ideal. Yeah, these guys should capitulate fairly easily. Lose less than 50. We'll probably lose around 50 in total. Or maybe 100. I'm going to assume 100, since we are using some infantry here. Um, infantry, yeah, that's probably a bad idea, but go right ahead. You're all individual here, so... Just go a little bit more ham, guys. It's a mountaineer, very nice. Yeah, I suppose I will increase my conscription level. That's probably for the best. Yeah, don't let him out. Cool, very nice. So, also, um, at the time of this recording, I hit 702 subscribers. What the heck? You took my lands. So, thank you for all the subs so far, guys. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. I really, really do appreciate all your support. Also, I did notice that, like, most of my subscribers, like, 70 to 75% of you guys who watch my videos, you don't, you're not actually subscribed. You watch my videos, which I am thankful for, but you're not actually subscribed. It's only, like, 25 to 30% of you guys that are actually subscribed. So, for the 1% of you, or the, for a portion of the portion who watch my videos who don't subscribe, I would appreciate it if just one more person would subscribe. Just, just one more. Right, at least for today. Just, just, just for today. That'd be cool. But anyways... I really need to increase my conscription levels. Oh, baby. And we're suppressing our subject. The good old Greos de Honduras. Downfall. I love it. The Radiant Times. Losses. Oh, I guess I can't even look at losses. Take all states. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Free Fighters. Your contribution to my country has been noted. Uh, I'll probably do that. Give me that. But um, do that. Give me half of you guys. Come over here, because I don't want to increase the supply problems over here too much. Do that. Get some more robots going. Come over here. Give me half of you guys. Come over here. Should be good enough. Yeah, that's all the areas that we have for this part of the country. Which is very, very bueno. Let's let time go on, so, since we're still justifying. And I guess really just prepare for the upcoming war. So... Yeah, we'll probably use robots over here. So give me about you guys. Pecos Colony will come over here. Now give me half of that. They'll come over here. Do that. Then give me half of these guys in total. Because there's going to be very, very many little areas where we will have to strike into. And... Give me four, all four of you. And you should probably do that. That should be good enough for at least Pecos Colony. We'll let time go on quite a, quite a bit. Um, Nathaniel Law, you got nothing for me. That's fine. Give me everyone here first. There's going to be a ton of ways, waterways that we got to cover. So give me half of y'all. Do that. Three... Do that. Make sure we cover all of our bases. One, two, three. Do that. This is a giant mess. One, two, three. And that'll be it for that army. Nice. Good enough. Good enough. It's like Ogenta de Sol. Oh, and we still have the other infantry to use as well. It's great. Give me about four divisions here. Yeah, Pecos Colony will not stand a chance against us, hopefully. Three, four. Come over here. Um, this is a very large front. So I don't feel comfortable using this infantry army for that front. Five. Give me five of you guys. Come. Never mind. Never mind. You five will come over here. Give me four more infantry divisions. You guys will come over here. Two, three, four. Do that. 
and then do something like that. There you go. We have most of this covered, so we just wait for Gen to soul. I have a cup of coffee here. We need increased conscription levels. We need to produce more uh, vehicles or ships, I suppose, and have a good time. Ah, good coffee. Second cup for the day. So we have the infantry done. I'm going to kind of leave Ulysses Taylors out at the moment. We have drop tanks for more aircraft range, which I love. Um, nuclear jet fighter. I guess we could use some of those. Uh, Supply-wise, we're doing okay. I mean, we'll increase everything. There's not a lot of electricity around here, however. Uh, do that. We might get one more electricity, which isn't very much, but whatever. Uh, we're going to build a lot of air bases up here anyways. That's good. Do that for the NCR eventually. Yeah, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, we have to build some radar. We'll do it up here. Uh, build some over there, because why not? As well. Oh, advanced smeltery. Hello there. We'll get the next one, because why not? <gasps> Yay, more manpower. Oh, whoops. Let time go on. Wait, oh, we can't... Oh, we have to be at war for this to happen. Oh, this one. Yeah, so we'll wait a little bit to get more manpower. Um, yeah, I think overall our divisions are doing pretty well. No, oh, that's a lot of divisions. That's a lot of enemy divisions. Gary, we will get more light attack and heavy attack and piercing for all ships. Um, we... Oh, planes. Battle barge, of course, but... No, we're not ready for the planes just yet. Transport gliders. I never use them. I think it's a little gamey, but whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah, usually, it's not. That's not bad. Does that help? Yeah, it does help. At least they have one regular factory to continually produce more and more weaponry. Um, we are justifying, right? Oh. Okay. I thought the New California Republic guaranteed Genta de Sol, but just the NCR got volunteers from Genta de Sol. Um, okay, so about 25 more days before we go to war, and increase our conscription levels. Ships, how are you all? One, three, you are waiting to get upgrades. Um, let's do that for now. And then do that, 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 that. There you go. So that these ships can get upgrades as fast as possible. They'll be done on April 19th, which is quite a ways away, but that's okay. That is totally, totally okay. Buildings, lots and lots of buildings were being created. We want to lower the ability of Honduras to someday rebel against us. So we're building stuff. Um, they have a radar station. They could probably use an air base down here, right? All right. Oh, actually, instead... Yeah, we can already lower them. It'll cost 50 autonomy, or 50 political power. 50 autonomy? What's autonomy? Um, you guys, yeah, I'll just come over here for now. We need more Coast Guard divisions, obviously. Cargo planes, very nice. Um, let's go ahead and get this done. Dream lifter. That's a very cool thing to say. Dream lifter. Who needs a transport plate when you have a dream lifter? Rifter, rifter, dream lifter. 64 divisions are needed to guard all of these provinces, and we go to war with Genta de Sol. Now, I don't know how this war is going to take place, or how it's going to happen, but let's get some more manpower. Let's continue to suppress our subjects. Push in with Le Robatos. You guys are getting attacked like crazy. You come up this way. Oh, they actually are attacking us like crazy. Very nice. Losses so far, not bad. Pretty good. Genta de Sol, I'm sure has a few thousand... Hey, a couple thousand manpower. A lot of division, surprisingly. Um, let's go ahead and finish this up as fast as possible. You guys aren't up to anything because, well, you really can't be up to anything. Uh, regarding this, we do have a look, some planes helping attack, which is nice. Losses. No losses yet. They've, they're actually a pretty good chunk of the way towards capitulation. And they've lost about 4,000. Soon to be 5,000. Let's go ahead and start justifying on someone else now, if we can. Pecos Colony... We have no claims on them. Valdeo Ranchers we do, though, in which we will take our rightful territory back. Two sons. Two sons is under us, though. These ranchers are under us. Pecos Colony's not. K 
Cowboy Country is not, even though that does look like it should be a part of Mexico, but whatever. Tohono Nation know as well. So, by going to war with the Ranchers or Tucsons, we will end up being in war with the Phoenix Republic and her allies, which is totally, totally okay. Lots and lots of factories, though. Losses. Not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. Our plane bomber, hello there. Is this ahead of time? Sure, I don't care. Sounds good to me. Ah, oh, beautiful. Can they pierce me? No, they cannot. Eh, but we do have air support. Air support is just so good in this game. If you don't have air support, you, you might as well not even try. Unless you can have overwhelming ground numbers. But if you have overwhelming ground numbers, you should at least be able to get some sort of, a, you know, manufacturing going for planes. Mmm, coffee. Good, good stuff. All the way from Honduras. The coffee capital, I think. At least in this mod. Uh, NCR, it looks like, you know, if the NCR fails or they lose this port, it's it's all over for these divisions. If they lose this port, they are screwed. So, let's keep it like this for a while. I want to see the NCR suffer. Just so that we, it makes it easier on us when we go to war with them. A lot of manpower, a lot of divisions. Let's take a quick look again at the losses. That's not, that's not bad. They're pretty equal in terms of losses. We got depth fuse, nice. More heavy attack, more heart attack, more piercing, stuff like that. Even more attack, thank you very much. Do we encounter any enemy ships here? Maybe, maybe not. Also, I am joined here by my cat, my thick kitty, named Binky. Right, Bink? You're laying down, lying in the sun, having a good day, just soaking in some sun rays and some sunshine. Just, ah, oh, beautiful body, beautiful. Right, Bink? That's right, Bink. Cool, we can't win every battle, but whatever. Um, they will capitulate soon enough. We've lost less than 400 so far. They've lost... Oh, wow, that's a lot of losses. Actually, they're very close to capitulating, so that's okay. Um, oh, nuclear jet fighters. Thank you very much. DAS indicator. Zero length launch cast. Armored, armored annihilator. That sounds really cool. 43 ground attack. Nice. Oops. This has 36, and then this has 29. But the regular one has 36. So this one has more uh, ground attack, but less agility, I think. Yeah, less agility. Um, strategic bombing. The one on the right is a normal one, which has slightly less strategic bombing. More range. The one that we have is more range. Same cost. Da da da. So. Less, we currently use less cell usage with our planes. Same speed, same naval targeting, pretty much mostly the same. They just traded some agility and some strategic bombing and cell usage for more ground attack. But I think right now we're we're pretty good. It's not multiplayer, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, but the dumb, ooh, actually I forgot about land doctrine, kind of. Ooh, area, oh, area, I don't want to forget about aerial warfare. No, no, no. Getting close to 500 losses, Genta City. Um, yeah, supply here isn't very good. They beat us back in a few places. Go ahead and stop. And let's kind of reorganize ourselves. And then you guys do this as well. Go ahead and reorganize yourselves. You're actually beating us back a little bit, which is a little concerning, but... I don't think we have nearly enough planes over here that we really could use. And by them attacking us, their losses should be going up quite a bit. Especially if we're not moving anymore. So, um, go ahead and start building up some more infrastructure around here. That'll be important for all of us. Yep, keep trying to attack me, guys. Come on. Yep, you're actually winning some of these battles. Um... Throw in some infantry. I know this is going to kill the supply, but whatever. I want to kill off these guys. These guys should lose. Manpower-wise, they're out of manpower, so the more they attack, the less they can actually do. So, no worries. Besides, I mobilized more soldiers anyway, so. Always got a few guys in res reserve. Um, I don't remember asking for you guys. Um, thank you, Honduras, but I'm still going to annex you in the end. Uh, two more light robots, or just Imperial Guard units. Very nice, very, very nice. 
I mean, you guys can keep attacking, but you're going to keep losing more and more soldiers. The, the rate at which I lose soldiers is drastically less than these guys. Up, oh, they went to uh, scraping the barrel, so that's interesting to see. Oh, actually, we could probably use some air bases up here as well. Do that. That'll come very much in handy. And if we need a little bit more push... Oh, we only have 75 here. Monoplane attacker. There you are, my friend. More planes. Always, always, always more planes. And they're losing too much manpower for them to really think about it. Oh my goodness. Nice. Yeah, the infrastructure really, really sucks. Really bad. Terrible infrastructure. But the show must go on, and I am tired of waiting around for you guys to kill yourselves against my lines. So, I will do it for you. Aren't I so generous? I know I am. Ah, Dreamlifter. Very nice. Rotary Engine Bomber. Sure. What are we still missing here? Oh, Jet Fighters, yeah. Nuclear Jet Fighters. Very fun. Very bueno. You can keep it trying to attack, but you don't have the manpower to keep... Or the equipment, probably. To keep throwing stuff at me. <laughs> keep scrunching them up together. They can push us back as much as they, can, they like, but it's not going to work. A 75mm revolver cannon. Very nice. Battle Barge Mark III, anyone? Now, where is that? Oh, it's over here. This will lower speed by just a little bit more. But the light attack goes up by 5. Slightly more piercing. A lot more heavy attack. Nice. Yeah, do that. Give me this. Do that. Go to Carlota. Give me one of you guys, and then one of you guys, and then one, one. Very nice. Uh, convoys, yeah, you can be placed at the bottom. And we need more water. Ooh. There we go. Took This took a little bit longer than I expected, but whatever. They are still under us, which is great, great, great. And, of course, we will continue to build stuff around here, which will be awesome. So, against the Phoenix Federation. This is what we're going to have to do. I'm going to need a fallback line to cover this entire line. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Good. Mmm. I love coffee. Probably too much. And let's go ahead and start at the bottom here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is against the NCR. I When I attack, the NCR should honestly probably do better. So, I'm not really going to... You know, let's not do that. Let's not do this. You guys. You guys can have that entire line right there. You guys can have that entire line right there. Because I probably want to cover the NCR area here. We already have most of this covered anyways. Um, oh, actually, they lost the port. That is... A little concerning. Okay. Red Pink? Yeah, you're going to lick yourself? Alright, cool. You guys come over here and do this. And we'll see what happens. If this NCR pocket dies... Uh, oh, no, they still have... They have a, That's only a level 1 port for all these divisions in here. Are you... No wonder no one's winning this war. Well, I guess the NCR is actually pushing in now. Hmm. Whatever. Come on, people. Keep killing each other, please. What's the manpower of the Phoenix Republic like? None. That's not going to help them. Twisted hairs... Quite a bit. Overall, they don't have almost any manpower compared to the NCR. This is a cause for concern. Oh, I'm just going to be able to walk straight into these enemies' territories like crazy. This will be a fun time for everyone. Well, probably for most people. Just in case, I'll plop up these three army divisions. Right here. Right here. Awesome. Now, I could go to war any time. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. I just kind of want to see what happens to the NCR first, and then we'll, we'll have a good time. Hmm. Oh, actually, that's not bad. <clears throat> Excuse me, because they can cover both rivers here, which is actually pretty good. For this... Uh, do that, yeah. Um, That's not really exactly balanced. Give me one of you. Whoops. Do that. Come over here. Oh, god dang it. 
Give me half. Split. That's much more balanced. At least the top one is. Let's do that. You guys come over here. You guys do this. You do convoy raiding, maybe. I doubt you'll really need convoy raiding, but whatever. Um, yeah, so we got those guys. I'm gonna wait for one more light cruiser because then you want every you want at least four screens for every one capital ship, as far as I know. So we'll wait for that. And give it a few more seconds before we go to war and take out some enemy nations. Unobstructed piloting, very nice. Naval warfare. Oh, this is really good too. Interception mission efficiency, sure. Should I go to war and have a good time with everyone here? Yes. Very much yes. And can I take electricity from our enemies? Yes. Very nice. Hmm. Oh, there's a ship. Moving around. Nice. Uh, for you guys, you know what? Convoy rating is nice and all, but it's not really worth it. Do that. And some of you guys... Let one of you guys sneak into here as well. That'd be good. Uh, did you guys actually get another ship? No, you did not. And we have more enemies. Very nice. Good. We're seeing... Uh, the Hang Dogs actually did most of the damage to the NCR... Then the Phoenix Republic, then the Baudelo Ranchers. Oh wait, the Desert Rangers are on my side, kind of. Okay, what, 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 whatever. We've lost 14 guys, and we've done a lot of damage to. We've already killed 1.2 thousand Ranchers. Jesus, 44 other people. Wow, wow. Yeah, we're moving in. Yep, the NCR is definitely getting some some of their work cut out for them. Um, let's go over here again. Specialized defense. Let's do some naval warfare stuff. I doubt we'll really do much naval stuff. But when we go to war with the NCR, I'm sure they got a big old navy. Yeah, that's a big old navy that we gotta be concerned about. Two sons? Am I not at, am I at war with you? Huh. Well, we'll change that soon enough. We're not at war with Pecos Colony either. Come on, guys. Where's the fun in that? Right, Bink? Yeah, B Bink. Yeah, you lick yourself. You are a big kitty when Binky licks himself. My goodness, it is loud. I mean, he's the loudest cat we've ever had who licks himself. It's like someone like eating a you know, like Thanksgiving or something. It's just really loud when he licks himself. It's kind of ridiculous. But uh, yeah, you guys are, don't really very much to do over here since these guys kind of took off this entire area. You don't need to guard against the NCR right now. In the future, you will. Uh, but yeah, do that. Gotta watch out for those waterways. Those waterways gonna kill you. Um, you guys are some... Let you hang back around here for now. Advanced boundary. Cool. Let's keep going. Keep going. Anything else? A scavenge for old road power armor. I don't want to ruin our defense or max planning. Or planning speed right now. So I'm gonna wait on that. Anything over here? Or industrialist. Hmm. There we go with cowboy country. I'm going to save up some of my political power, though. That's what I'm probably going to do. Because I'm going to need it to annex Honduras. Oh, and the ranchers gave up. Nice. Let's talk about those ranchers. Um, I want to make sure that... Because these are supposed to be, like, guerrillas of Honduras, you can never take these places over. And if you try to take these places over, you will suffer a great many casualty. Actually, I should have put that at the top. What am I thinking? There you go. Good enough. Let's let some of that go. They've already capitulated an entire country so far. Good job, guys. Oh, and now you guys actually have a job. Oh, you actually have employment. Wow, what type of benefits do you get? None? Ha, huh, like me. Oh, wait, what? Too soon, man. Anyways, coffee's good. Ultimo. Very nice. NCR has pushed in not much more than before, which is a little... Disappointing, but whatever. You guys can't do very much. Oh, we're at war with Pecos Colony. Oh, they want to come over through this way, I see. Ah, that makes sense. Baudeo Ranchers. You guys are getting to the front, which is good. Oh, they've actually come over here as well. Alright, well, whatever. At least no one got cut off, so that's good. Hmm. Losses. That's a lot of losses. Unassigned... Honduras, I know, I know you don't want to be annexed, but we all got to accept it someday. Uh, you guys are over here. Go ahead and reform the front line here, because this will be one huge front line. I want you to actually focus on something else here. 
I'm going to not tell you where to go yet because I want the rest of these robot guys to get over to their new positions. And then I'll have Cyrus Maxi go against the Pecos Colony. So, rotary engine bomber. Never going to use it. But that's okay. Um, get you air bombing. I think range is probably good enough, so. More robots? Sure, I'll take more robots. 75 millimeter revolver cannon. That sounds amazing. But we get even more ship attack. Very nice. Good, you guys should mostly be in your areas. I guess you're not all there yet, but that's alright. Give me about one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, it's really just to hold the area here. I don't want to divide all these guys up. Just do something like that. Just guard the coast against the enemy for now. Oh, this is very interesting. Two sons, can I go to war with you yet? How much longer? Like, seriously, six days, five days? Come on. Come on. The NCR is very pathetic right now. Can't do very much, but they have been pushing in. Good to see that. I just need to kill off two sons. Please, let me kill you. Please. Please. Oh, we're going to need... Oh, there we go. Awesome. Airplanes. Yes. This. Yes. And let us go toward with Dos Sanos. There you go. Mmm. Coffee is a great, great thing. And have water afterwards to make sure your mouth is nice and relatively more cleaned. Greatness awaits. Oh, Wait, is Beko's Colony... Yeah, they're allied with... They're in part of the, uh... Phoenix Republic. And that stupid affection. Free dockyards. Free dockyards. Free dockyards. Um... Do we have anything here that can change? Mediums. This looks all pretty much the same. I don't think I've really done too much else. Get a schooner. And we'll go to our favorite place. Carlota's. Mexican bar and grill. I'm sure someone has like the Carlota bar and grill area probably or something like that. Ooh, this is a little concerning. Losses. Doing better, doing better. Um, I could call my ally in, because why not? They better be used for something, right? For you guys, let's lower this. Let's lower this. Where are you guys at? Oh, yeah. That'd be fine to lower that. Come on. I really wanted to go to war with Pecos Calling, because that's kind of very, very important for us to do, but whatever. Um, losses, pretty good. Pretty good. We've lost 42. That ain't bad. We've got a lot of hangdogs. We got rid of the Baudelio Ranchers. Phoenix Republic is getting his butt whooped by the NCR. No, NCR, I don't want you to move through my lands because we're going to kill you after this, probably. Ooh, more ground attack. Yes, please. Get some more planes going. We need more planes here. Just in case. Get some more infrastructure. Lots and lots of things are going to be being built. Love it. Look at all that manpower. Love it. This is... Uh, cause of concern for me right here, though. Um, yeah, I need to go to Orthbeka's Colony because they kind of have a lot of soldiers. I have a lot of soldiers based around there that I want to attack immediately, but I can't. We're doing the best we can over here. I got encircled somehow because my guys are crazy. Up oh, and the NCR has made it over here, too. Up oh, and these guys are breaking over here, which isn't a good thing for us. Nope. Come on, NCR. You can do better than this. Um, give me half of you guys. Yeah. Definitely expand this. Oh, you can't expand that. Dang it. Good, 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 good. Why is Pecos Colony not going to fight us? Like, why can't I have, like, a faster war? Uh, that, that takes forever to do more war just to justify gold time. That's a little bit too ridiculous, in my opinion. Yeah, if I try to attack, it's not going to end up very well for us. Um, over here, we're still trying to break... Th we're doing nothing. Hey, 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 come on. Wake up. Wake the heck up, samurai. Yeah, this is not good. Um... I didn't give you any orders. Come on, please. I know the lag. Wait, what are you doing? 
right? Okay, the game is glitched or something. Well, whatever, you know, it happens. Um, yeah, at least we're out of this bad supply area. Oh my goodness, someone just killed Pecos Colony off for me, please. I don't want to deal with this. Please. Please, guys, please. Oh, you actually have an upgrade, Ezra? No? Disappointing. But he's been a very good general, so I can't fault him too much. Mm. Oh, there goes to Hono Nation. Thank you, very nice. Very nice. Oh, look at these guys are going to die here. Um, ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. You know, the NCR might be taking land, but it's really me that helped make sure that these guys can't do anything. Good. An extra dockyard. Um, okay. Please go to Carlotta. She's a nice lady. She may be deceased, but she's very nice. Good, 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 good. And there goes two suns. Cool. Almost done, guys. Almost done with this episode. Which is... I don't know. Some of you guys don't want me to leave yet. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta leave. Um, Where... Ro Robatos, please. Thank you. You welcome over here. We're pretty much done with that. Focus on these few guys. Yeah. Phoenix Republic not doing so well, huh? Not doing so well, eh? Yeah, waiting for Pecos Colony is a little bit ridiculous. Um, let's go ahead and have a good time with them. The NCR, you're not going to get you're not going to get most of this land because it's because of me who's done a lot of this. Even though it says 57%, it's only because I got involved that made it really possible for you to do very well here. Um, yeah. Ooh, actually, this is more max speed for screens. Speed, speed. Capital ships more armor. Armor and damage. Max speed. Or strike force organization loss. Um. This is a lot more capital ships. I'm gonna go with the capital ship one. Cool. Um, that's pretty much all the time for we have for today. I know I made this just a little bit longer than normal, just because someone wanted me to make it a little bit longer than normal. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. We have taken out most of the Mexican states. We're trying to finish that off, obviously. And we are having a good time, a relatively good time, with the remains of the Phoenix Federation. And then we'll probably go to war with the NCR after that war. So, anyways, thank you very, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the Discord link below. Join my Discord and tell me hello. And I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you all have a tremendous great day. Thanks for watching.